here's our rounding lesson. Results of calculations with approximate numbers are usually rounded to a determined number of significant di digits to indicate how well the final answer is known. We're going to avoid rounding sub-answers, and we'll do this by storing temporary results in the memory of our calculators, and round only the final answer as common sense dictates. Now there's some rules for rounding, so when we're rounding a final answer we have to watch out for we have to identify first the place value of the last digit to be retained. Then we have to look at the digits that follow that last digit we're retaining. If the digits following are less than 5, then we're going to leave that last digit retained unchanged. If the digits following it are greater than 5, then we'll round up that last digit retained by adding 1 to it. And if they're equal to 5, then we will still round up by adding 1 to the last digit retained. Now there is a bit of an old rule where it, if it was equal to 5, then we'd make the last digit retained even by adding 1, or just leave it if it was already even. But this is an old rule as I, as I indicate here, and technology tends to now, if it's equal to or greater than 5, we tend to round up. So let's take a look at some examples. So here's our rounding. We're going to have a measurement. We'll round to three significant digits, and we'll also round to four significant digits. So our first example, we've got the reading or the measurement 27.258 centimeters. We should first identify the number of significant digits that were given or measured. And here we have all non-zeros, so they're all significant, so we have five. Now the first thing we want to do is round to three. So let's take our value again. So there's our 20, 27. 258, but we only want to keep these three. So it means that we're going to have to take a look at this 5 and the 8, and we don't do drill down, we just look at the next value, so the next place value. So that's equal to 5. What do we do with it? So there's our number equal to 5, so it's equal to 5. So the number that we're going to keep, the 2 here, we're going to round that up to 3. So we'll round that to 27.3 centimeters. Let's do the same thing for rounding to 4. So there's our reading again, and here we've indicated we want to keep these 4. So we're going to do something with the 8. So that's the value we have to look at and determine what's going to happen to now the 5. Since the 8 is greater than 5, this 5 here now will round up to 6. So our reading will be 27.26 centimeters. Here's another example, 27252. This one also has five significant digits, all non-zero numbers. Let's round to three. So we're going to keep these three. Let's throw our barrier just so that we have to take a look at this number here. So that's the number we're focusing on. That is equal to five. So our rule is that we're going to round up this two to three. So 27.3 centimeters again. Let's do it to four significant digits. So these are the four we want to keep. Let's put our barrier. Let's focus in on the number that we have to make our decision on. So this number 2 is actually less than 5. So 2 is less than 5. So we'll leave this 5 by itself, or leave it alone, I should say. So we're going to leave the number as 27.25. On to the next example. 27.250 centimeters currently has, again, 5 significant digits. Don't forget to count the trailing 0 in a decimal number. Let's round it to 3, so we want to keep these 3. Let's put our barrier so we can focus. We have to look at that 5. It is equal to 5, so we're going to take this 2 and round it up to 3. So our rounded value will be 27.3 centimeters to 3 significant digits. To 4 significant digits, we want to keep these 4 numbers. So we'll put our barrier, we'll focus on the 0. 0 is clearly less than 5, so we're going to leave this 5 as it is. So we'll just leave it as 27.25 centimeters.